Look at all these very serious looking Asian people in the front row. It's like AP Calculus in here right now. They're like, oh my God, two item minimum? What's the maximum? How do I get an A right now, dude? There's like three white dudes copying answers in the back of them. Get the buffalo wings, hazy A-double-I-P-A. Quick, quick, write it down. So I'm Peter. Recently, I got really, really drunk. I, that wasn't the joke yet, um, but thank you, thank you. Uh, one of my friends came up to me and he was like, Peter, when we get drunk, that is when we show our truest selves. So I thought, wow, that's interesting, because if that's true, apparently I am a white woman. Because I was running around this party hugging everybody, live, laugh, love! Yeah! Let's go shop at Target! Don't worry, these are Lululemon. They won't rip. Uh, the next day I woke up super hungover. You know, sending candles, hand soaps everywhere. It was really weird. If anybody's confused, I am actually an Asian man. Sometimes people can't tell because I'm buff and good looking. And I, and I speak English. If you laughed at that, you're at least a little bit racist. But thank you, thank you for being here though. I appreciate that a lot, you know? Being a big muscular guy is interesting because everyone thinks like, wow, you're so big and buff. You must be like so confident, so cool. But the truth is, buff guys are afraid of everything, all right? <laughs> Muscles are literally a trauma response of your body to stress, all right? They are a coping mechanism, all right? These are emotional support biceps, all right? <laughs> you, only, you only get this big if your parents never told you they loved you and you're afraid of the dark, all right? Look okay, at any buff guys in here? Look around. All right? That's why, what do you think? You guys think gyms are so well lit? Keeps the monsters away. <laughs> Next time you see a big buff guy, give him a hug. He's, he's, he's going through it. <clears throat> but yeah, being an Asian man's pretty cool right now, you know, as we heard from Steven. You know, we're everywhere, we're on TV, we're on Netflix, we're doing comedy, apparently. You know, we sing songs, we play basketball, finally. You know? <laughs> but the best part is that Women of all kinds want to date us now. You know, it's great. So, uh, problem is I'm married. <laughs> so these days, it's like walking through life being like a chubby diabetic kid in a candy store. You know, you're looking at all this candy everywhere. You know, there's like Twizzlers, M&M's, gummy bears. Man, there's like those little Mexican candies. You guys know what I'm talking about? They're like this big, like between 4'11 and 5'4. That kind of candy, you know? Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour, but it's always spicy. Oh, man. So, you know, I can, like, look around at this candy. I can, like, get close enough to sometimes smell the candy, you know? But if I eat any of this candy, I'm gonna end up on a Netflix murder mystery instead of a Netflix <laughs> comedy special. Uh, being married is great. I've been married for about eight years. Thank you, thank you. People ask me sometimes, they're like, Peter, what's the secret to a happy marriage? Like, okay, first of all, look at the trauma muscles. Why, why do you think I have a happy marriage? All right? The emotional coping biceps. All right? But there's two things I usually tell them. You know, two things that work for me. Number one, go to therapy. Ladies, am I right or am I wrong? Thank you, thank you. Go to therapy. You got to heal that trauma, all right? Address it. Identify it. Number two, perform oral. <laughs> Ladies, am I right or am I wrong? Performing oral is literally cheat codes on a, on a woman's body. And when I say that, I mean literally, use your tongue, punch in the cheat codes from Street Fighter, right? Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. Corner turn, punch. Finish him. Oh, you can. My wife is actually here tonight. This is her first time ever hearing this set. I won't point her out to you, but she's like, you know, somewhere, somewhere in this room or something. You know, all the Asian women look alike, right? So I can't really tell either. You know, I'm sure once we get home, she's gonna be like, oh, 411 Mexican candy? <laughs> Don't worry, I may or may not have uh, performed the cheat codes this morning. To, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta reload the last save game sometimes, am I right? All right, thank you everybody. Live, laugh, love. <laughs>